I've only read about these. Whoa, this is awesome. <laughs> this is a duck foot pistol. Duck, duck foot, foot pistol. pistol. Hand on the hip. Ah. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Shift Fire, the exploration and appreciation of military culture. I am Israel Wright, former Green Beret. It's good to be back with you. With me, as always, to my right, the illustrious, the illuminating, the luminary, Cameron Fath. What's going on, everybody? I am a former Army Ranger, out of Second Ranger Battalion, excited to be here. Even more excited because we are here filming a segment of Lethal Antiquities. Israel, tell the folks about the show. In the show Lethal Antiquities, we are going to bring in somebody from the film, gaming, firearms, or military community to surprise us with a weapon. They're going to bring something out. We don't know what it is, but they're going to surprise us. We're going to talk about the history, the purpose. We're going to get a little bit of education. More importantly, we're going to shoot off a few rounds with this weapon. So, uh, hell it's gonna be a good yeah, time. we are. It's, it's going to be, be a fantastic <laughs> time. But before we dive in here, make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel to stay up on all the latest from Shift Fire. You ready, brother? Let's do it, man. Let's go. Let's run. That way. That way. <laughs> What's hey guys. up, Clay? What's going <laughs> on, up, Clay? Good to see you, Bubba. Nice seeing you, man. Since you're here. The case is here. The case is here. So is the good times, then. <laughs> That's right. It is. Well, Clay, for the people just joining us, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm an armor for the movie and TV industry, so mm -hmm. we provide all the weapons you'll see on set, whether they're firing, non-firing, all through history, all periods of time, all over the world. Awesome, man. What about a couple projects maybe you've worked on that they know about? Oh, let's see. Uh, we worked on Apex Legends not too long ago. Oh, yeah, the... baby! That's what I'm talking about! That's right. Recognize. <laughs> That's what we've been up to recently. Also working on some stuff for History Channel and uh, True TV. Oh, hey, very right. cool, man. That's well, truly amazing. That's truly the worst thing you've ever said in your life. <laughs> the but day is young. Give him some time. The day is young, but you know what's not young? Me. My interests. <laughs> I hope there's something old in here, man. There's something cool in here, and it's weird even for me. So your hint for today is three. 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 I'm thinking three. three barrels, maybe. Like a triple oh. barrel shotgun, maybe. You know what? That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm, I'm stealing his. I'm gonna go with that. I think yeah. it's the, uh, I don't remember the name of it. I just know the sound it makes when it takes a man's <laughs> life. But I think it's a three barrel shotgun. Yeah. It's a good guess. Um, yeah, it's a good guess. You just want to go with it? You want to stand united? I'm a, I will stand my ground. All right. I like it. I Let's will say see. that your guess is close. Oh. But still wrong. Ah. Let's see what this is, man. You ready? Where's it gonna yep. be? Stop! <laughs> <laughs> I've only read about these. Whoa, this is awesome! Nice, dude. It's what the is... spread shot from Contra. Right. <laughs> this is a duck foot pistol. Duck, duck foot, foot pistol. pistol. It is a muzzle loading pistol that was popular in the 1700s. Now this is a later version. You can see the percussion cap nipple. Originally, you'd have flint locks or match locks or dog lock versions of these. All of those mm -hmm. existed. And there's a really rudimentary and very small trigger there. Got three barrels. I feel like gunsmiths just got bored. Yeah, like we have all this spare brass. Like, well, we can get it to shoot straight. Now, <laughs> right. let's get it to shoot in three directions at once. Yeah. You can kind of see why it's called the duck foot. Yeah, it looks like a duck foot. And it wasn't uncommon for these to have four barrels, sometimes five barrels. There's <laughs> examples with up to eight barrels. I kid oh, you not. God. And these all fire at one time. Exactly. No kidding. Yeah. So this was shot. sort of designed for bank guards, ship captains, uh, people that might have to fight off multiple attackers at once. Supposedly, you know this why? was enough to uh, dissuade a crew from mutinying when a captain went, do you really want to do that? Ah. Uh, well, why don't we just keep sailing together, chappies? <laughs> yes, why don't you listen to me? <laughs> now I see, okay, three barrels. Tell us about any kind of recoil considerations or if you load like two barrels or one barrel, like an off shooting a little bit. Accuracy is not your goal. It's to spread some shot out and terrify the hell out of people threatening you. But it's a 31 caliber ball, so it's not huge mm. and you don't have a ton of room for powder. But again, you can always adjust the powder load. Interesting, man. Effective range? Uh, me to you. Me to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is not at all a precision weapon. If you got three bad guys trying to come up on you on a dark, stormy night in Victorian London, this would be the weapon of choice. Nice. Make them go away. The other uh, little adjustment they made on these, one of the issues that sometimes people would have with muzzle-loading weapons is if you have a flash in the pan. Where the pan flashes, the main charge doesn't go, and for some reason that main charge got wet, and it's not going to fire. Well, now you've got a ball stuck in there. How do you get it out? It's kind of a process. So they had an adjustment with these where they would thread the barrels 
Oh, so if you had that issue, you could just pull the barrel out and knock the yeah. stuck around it out of there. I don't think I've ever seen it in movies, television, video games, no. anything like that. It's not very common. I think yeah. they used one of these in Pirates of the Caribbean. Possibly. Uh, okay. But yeah, you don't see these very often. Was there a specific manufacturer inventor that is responsible for this or is it just, you know, they have a design and you make one if you have the tools? Yeah, this was pre-interchangeable parts. So every individual gunsmith was going to be making their own version on this, which is why there's three versions. There's four versions. Mm. Sometimes the barrels are variated up and down. So you've got some vertical yeah, spread as well. Spread. So how would you end up with this then? Because you said it's not involved in a lot of video games or movies, so. It's yeah. not. We buy a lot of things in estate sales and we're always looking for the weird things from strange periods of history. Mm -hmm. The golden age of piracy is kind of a spot that's near and dear to our hearts. This one would be a little bit later. This is more like Victorian London 1820s yeah. and after because of the percussion cap. Nice, man. I'm excited, man. You want to shoot this thing? Of course I do. <laughs> do you want to shoot this? Absolutely. Let's, Let's do, do it, it then. All right. We're duck, here. We're here. Duck foot pistol. It's only appropriate that we do out of three this time because there's three barrels. Three bullets. barrels, I got it. Right here. All right, ready? Rock, Rock paper, scissors, scissors, shoot. Rock, Rock paper, scissors, scissors, shoot. shoot. Okay, that's one for you. Rock, Rock paper, scissors, scissors, shoot. Oh, here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah! you. My heart's pumping right now. Yeah. I feel like I need to stand up straight with this thing in my hand. Like, I feel like a gentleman. It's one barrel for you. Oh my gosh. I feel like a scumbag when I hear that. I'm like, you ain't some <laughs> Come over here, you <laughs> All right, that's one barrel done. One ball. One barrel, one ball. Look at the cutest ball right there. It's so cute. <laughs> eh. One wad. Got it. Barrel number two. Barrel number two, ladies and gentlemen. The bullet, ladies and gents. The wad. Such a time consuming process. <laughs> Everyone yeah. wait, your freedom can wait. I mean, you'd think the ball would be like the size of the barrel. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of room to play. There's a lot yeah, of no. room. Well, black powder soaks up water, it's hygroscopic. Uh -huh. So the more you fire, a black powder weapon, the smaller the bore gets because it's getting clogged with black powder that's sticking to the walls. So that was part of the reason that they always used a slightly smaller ball. Mm. Later, when they rifled the barrels, you'd actually have to pound it down with a hammer. All right, you're loaded? Yep. All right, the range is hot. Go ahead and take that to half cock. All right, half cock. Oh, full cock, rather. Keep your finger off. Oh, I love the little cap yep. of flint, okay. Use mercury or fulminate and just fit that on there and shove it all the way down. Okay. And you are ready to fire. All right, we're ready to go. Come on, antiques. And on the hip. Ah. Hey, nothing but air. <laughs> Nothing but no. <laughs> it sounded cool it though. Did. It did. It had a bit of a kick there. Thank Your you, cap, sir. sir. Just go ahead and take it to full cock. Make sure that thing's cleared. Should be good. Okay. Hey, I already you take. got at least one. <sighs> Maybe two. Left shoulder. Yeah. Yeah! What a blast! <laughs> when it worked. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it worked a dream for me. I had a few problems. We, this is, goes back to what we've talked about before with the reliability. You know, you pull the trigger and hope for the best. Like we said, an emergency gun where you just pull it out last minute right. and try to shoot someone real up close, you're really like, eh, 50-50. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can imagine being in a standoff with a mutinous crew and going, all right, guys, I'm going to shoot you. No, you won't shoot us. OK, click. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then the new captain was born. What do you guys think? Would you replace your Glock with this? Absolutely not. <laughs> no. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> it would definitely just sit in a gun vault and I'd be like, look, I have a three barrel pistol. <laughs> right. cool. Look at how pretty it is. Now yeah. let's go yeah. drink some. Yes, and then put it back in the velvet sack I keep it in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These, if you even think about the matchlocks where they were lined up in a row, 
they fired a volley. Mm. On ships, they had volley guns where there were multiple barrels of cannons tied together all in one thing. Mm -hmm. They touched the touch hole and all barrels fired at once. Ah. Yeah. And that's where this whole concept came from. They just got it smaller and smaller until it was handheld. Exactly. Very awesome. And now we have double barreled M4s and like right. double barreled 1911s yep. and stuff. Uh -huh. So it's got to add another barrel to those weapon systems. Well, Clay, thank you so much for coming out here, man. Happy to be here. Thanks, Thanks for letting Clay. us shoot this thing. It's super awesome. If you guys want to check out what Clay's doing, be sure to head over to moviegunguide.com. They're doing awesome stuff. Look forward to seeing what you guys are doing next here. If you guys are interested in the plate carriers we are wearing, a special thank you to Haley Strategic Partners for providing the equipment and just being awesome dudes. Thank you, Travis Haley and your team. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up on the latest from all things Shift Fire. Go ahead and show it some love by clicking that like button. Jump in the comments. Tell us what you thought about the three-barreled pistol or another weapon you probably or maybe want to see us shoot next time on Lethal Antiquities. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Shift Fire. Instead of the flint mechanism or the match mechanism, both of which existed, mm -hmm. Lords of London definitely made some. Lords of London, that's yeah. a rock and roll name right there. Right? You're the Lords of London! <laughs> Just wanted to... <laughs> yeah, I know that. That's where my mind goes. Yeah, yeah. I love it.